Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to something I've done before because I do like mixing things up on the channel and apparently you guys seem to enjoy that sometimes. And today I'm going to be doing my top 5 or yeah basically the top 5 Scout cosmetic loadout set things. Um, some of these are just opinion based and some of them are from asking people what their favourite scout loadouts are based on cosmetics and stuff and also just kind of looking around at people playing scout and seeing what kind of stuff they wear and there are like quite a lot of people who wear the same stuff so it shows me that the you know that the set is quite popular and that the cosmetics look good so yeah this is opinion based mostly if you disagree with anything on this list then Tell me what your list would be in the comments. It would be quite interesting to see. Um, because obviously mine, my opinion isn't the only opinion on this. And you guys might you know, want to share yours. So um, yeah, let's get right on to the video. I just want to say something really quickly before we start. If you enjoy this type of video, please let me know. Uh, and then I'll carry on making them. Uh, maybe I'll extend it to top 10 soon. I just couldn't think of 10 awesome scout loadouts. So here's the top 5 instead. Um, I'm going to be doing these one for each class. So maybe you guys can put some input into the next one. Uh, if you guys really like this series, I'm going to be trying to constantly improve on them. Um, so, you know, instead of just SFM posters, I'll put SFM animations or something on. So, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. So let's get right into the video. And I hope you enjoy. At number 5 I put my old scout loadout. This includes the Mercs Mohawk, the Bruiser's Bandana and the Flak Jacket. There's an SFM on the screen right now, probably. Yeah there will be. Um, and I really like this set just because it kind of gives off the um, gangster kind of street look to the scout. Which looks pretty cool because the scout um, kind of suits that and put in all of that together looks really really cool and it looks awesome in game as well so yeah that's number five at number four we have the scout ninja set which is the freaking sweet ninja hood the south shinobi and the red socks um there's also quite a few weapons for the scout that actually go with this like the three room blade and um, looks really good with this set because it just goes with the whole ninja theme um a lot of people like to pretend they're ninjas like I guess in TF2 and this ninja set looks really really nice um, and yeah the only thing I'd change about it is maybe adding like trousers for it like instead of the red socks it's just like the trousers that are like ninja like I don't know um, but it looks really cool a lot of people like it you could change the freaking sweet ninja hood with a Hong Kong cone if you want to go for like a slightly different look. Um, but yeah. I think this one looks really cool. And definitely deserves it's number 4 spot. At number 3. I've put the kind of athletic scout set. With the essential accessories. The track terrorizer. And the front runner. A lot of people like to use this set. Because it does kind of. Makes the scout look really athletic. And because he's the quickest character in the game. It kind of really suits it. And he's the kind of, you know, character that would normally wear that stuff and go out and running and stuff, I guess. Um, I don't really know. But the this, this set looks really good together. The cosmetics work really well together, uh, which I was quite surprised at. But, yeah, I think it's quite a nice looking set and a lot of people use it. The front runner is also quite cool because I think it has multiple... Um, styles that you can use maybe without the headphones or something I'm not too sure on the styles um, but yeah the track terrorizer definitely looks quite good and the essential accessories add the sweatbands and all that stuff which really goes well with the set and for number two we have this loadout which you can see on the screen right now um, this is kind of when I started asking people what they thought was the most popular and best looking scout cosmetic loadout and this one came up quite a lot and if it wasn't this one it was you know slight variations of this 
maybe just changing the essential accessories to the, the Lynch's duffel or something. But um, I think this set looks quite nice. I I probably myself would change the essential accessories to the, the Lynch's duffel. But the Fed Fighting Fedora and the Summer Shades together work really well. And I really like this set. It looks quite nice. Maybe you can get an awesome looking burning, unusual Fed Fighting Fedora or something. I reckon that would look quite good. And yeah, definitely deserves this number two spot because it does look really nice. And I'm sure most of you can guess what the number one set is. Uh, you see most of the scouts in pubs wearing this, or at least you used to. I'm not too sure about recently. But this used to be the only set really that people used. Um, you see it a lot with burning and scorching, unusual effects on the hats and cosmetics and stuff. And then the fast learner, you know, just looks really cool with those two items. But yeah, this set is the Troublemaker's Tussle Cap, the, bon the Bonk Boy, and the fast learner. And a lot of people like to accompany it with an Australian Scattergun because it just completely adds to the whole set. Um, yeah, a lot of people like to get this set because there's two unusual effect options right there and then a cool looking shirt that go with that goes with it. Um I used to really like this set. Um it used to be my favourite and that would be the only thing I did wear. Except I sometimes changed the fast learner with a different shirt just because I liked to mix up the shirts to see which one would look better. Um but yeah it's a really nice looking set. The Bonk Boy and the Troublemaker's Tossle Cap actually go together quite well which was a little bit surprising, but, you know, it all, it all looks really good. You see people with crazy, like, unusual effects on this thing. Um, people used to completely skip the fast learner on this. They used to have uh, the Troublemaker's Tossle Cap and two Bonk Boys, two unusual Bonk Boys, back when you could actually do that glitch. Um, unfortunately, they removed that feature, so you couldn't really put triple unusual effects on your scout. Um, using the Bonk Boy, now you need like a Polar Pullover, I don't know if you can use that with this set though. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool, it's a really nice set, and it definitely deserves its number one spot, because it is probably the most popular set right now. Okay guys, this was my kind of list for the top five Scout cosmetic sets. If you don't agree with what I've said, put it in the comments, tell me your list and what... Your favourite scout loadouts are, you never know, I might make a top 5 scout cosmetic sets part 2. Um, and I kind of like the idea of being able to just come back to these kind of videos, just because, you know, there's a lot of new updates that add a lot of new cosmetics, which people then take these cosmetics and make crazy awesome looking sets in, um, in on the scout. So... Yeah, it could be something I keep coming back to to have a look at and see who's made the best looking set, I guess, and what it looks like. And show you guys some other cool sets that you might look at and say, hey, I want that for my scout. Um, because I know picking loadouts that you definitely want is quite a hard job, especially if you don't know what they'll all look like. So combining these kind of videos with my SFM tutorial on you know, how to check your loadouts um, I think this kind of can help you guys pick what scout sets you like. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.